going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV. Preview of the game tomorrow, Arsenal against Brighton in the Premier League. Thursday night football, you know, we're used to Thursday nights by now, but this time it's not the Europa League, it's a Premier League game. Freddie Lundberg's first home game in charge and what's going to happen tomorrow. Before we get into the video, keep subscribing to the channel, keep supporting, hit, hit that like button as well and um, keep commenting. I love all the interaction. So, surely this is a game that Arsenal can win, you know. I seem to be saying this every week, Carl, we'll win that one, we'll win that one. And somehow, you know, we're like the draw specialists at the moment. Um, Brighton have won two of their last five and um, they're in okay form. They've just given their manager a new six-year contract, you know. Most clubs tend to regret giving them deals out. I remember Pardew signing, was it an eight-year contract? And they sacked him after two years. It ends up being a lot of um, compensation paid out. Um... How's Freddie going to set us up? I mean, I'm, I'm backing Freddie, you know, he's an invincible and he needs to lift the team and give us something to believe in. I wasn't happy with his team selection on Sunday. I'm not going to make an excuse because if Emery picked that team, we'd have slaughtered him. Equally, I think Lundberg got the team selection wrong and I hope he changes it tomorrow. Um, so this is a team I would go with anyway. I'd go with Leno in goal, brilliant form at the moment. It's just a shame the defence are not protecting him. He's, he's getting too many shots at him. Um, Bellerin at right back. He trained today, so I believe he's fit. I would go with Callum Chambers and David Luiz at centre-back. Um, personally, I think Socrates has been very poor this season. Mustafi came in. You know, He's probably the worst centre-back at the club. He shouldn't be playing at all. Um, Holding, I don't think, um, is available. Um, so, yeah, I would go with Chambers and Louisa. I don't think them two have played together much at centre-back. Uh, we know we need a new centre-half in January, but for now it's just a case of getting through. And then Tierney at left-back. So that would be three of the four who played against Norwich changed, which I think we need to do. Um, going into the midfield... Um, I've said a number of times that I don't think Xhaka should play and I think we should get rid of him in January. I'm actually going to change my mind, not because I particularly rate him. I just think at the moment we've got to go back to the xhaka Torreira pivot. It's the only midfield combination for me that works. And I think that that's the only way we get a little bit of protection in front of the back four. And at the moment, you know, Guendouzi's not playing great. I think it might be time to take him out of the side. Willock um, gives us good energy, but, you know, his end product sometimes hasn't been good enough. I would go back to Xhaka and, and Torreira and Ozil in the pocket. Um, I would go with a front three that a few people have said, and that is Martinelli, Aubameyang and Pepe. I would like to see us play with two out-and-out -out wingers and one striker. I am very reluctant to leave Lacazette out of the side because I think... He's one of our two probably best players and you're going to make him unhappy if you leave him out of the team. The only other option would be possibly to play Lacazette in the 10 role where Ozil is playing. So that's a little 50-50 decision um, that we could make. I think this is a type of game where Ozil is effective at home against lesser quality opposition if you like. But I almost would like to say play Lacazette in the 10 role ahead of Ozil. Um, but let me know what you think. I, you know, I'm a bit split on that. Ozil or Lacazette in the 10, but definitely Martinelli on the left, Aubameyang through the middle, and Nicolas Pepe on the right. Um, I know Lundberg has sort of questioned how well Pepe is training as to why he didn't pick him. I saw a thing the other day with John obi Mikel saying that Eden Hazard was the worst trainer at Chelsea. Very lazy, did the bare minimum to get through. Um, so by that recognition, you know, what would Chelsea have left Hazard out every week? Um, Mikel said himself that on a Saturday when Hazard played in the league, he was the best player on the pitch. Not every footballer trains the way they, the way they play on a match day. You know, some players just get through training, try and keep fit, tick over, but in a game they become a different player and they come to life um, on a match day in front of the fans. Um, so I think Lundberg's got to be careful how he judges Pepe. I'm not saying he should be able to just sack training off. But, you know, look at the guy's ability. Something I, I do want to say, a lot of people have wrote Pepe off. I actually think he's a very good player there. Um, I just think he has to be used in the right way. Lundberg played on the right wing for Arsenal. So I hope he has some understanding of how to get Pepe into the, 
the right positions for him to be more of a goal threat. Um, let me know what you think about the team. I'm going to the game tomorrow. It's, it's one we've got to win. Um, if we're going to have any chance of rescuing the Premier League season, these are the type of games we've got to win. Um, obviously, Tottenham lost to Man United tonight. If we win, I think we can go back up to fifth and close the gap on Chelsea down to seven points. It's still going to be difficult, but we have to keep believing and keep chasing. Um, and the fans, I hope we really get behind Lundberg and the team tomorrow and, you know, lift them. Fill that stadium and hopefully get three points. And, and it's a little step towards building. Um, as always, let me know what you think. What team would you pick? There's a lot of options, you know, I think apart from Ceballos and and Rob Holding, I think the majority of the squad are fit and available. Um, so lots of options. Let me know what you think. Would you go back to the Xhaka Torreira pivot? I can't see any other midfield combination working at the moment. Um, I'd go with Louise and Chambers at centre-back. Would you change it? Would you go with Socrates or somebody else? Would you keep Mustafi in there? Although I don't think many people would say that. And with the strikers, I've gone Martinelli, Aubameyang, Pepe. Would you play two up front? Um, I've said possibly I would play Lacazette in the 10 role instead of Ozil, but I'm not too sure about that. But um, let me know what you think. Keep subscribing to the channel, keep supporting, and hopefully Arsenal can finally win a game because it's been a while. Bless.